you that weren't here when I first held these up. This rivet pattern, Baker, I got this one at Michael's, I think, and it comes with different heads. So if you're trying to stay accurate with your rivets, uh, that's a handy little tool to have. Almost all of my adhesive application is done with dental tools. I find these things are extremely valuable uh, for mixing and applying, um, even getting into <coughs> tight areas to put back pressure on uh, assembly for scratch building. Clamps. I find these are my favorite for working with uh, the soda cans. Uh, just, I have many different types of these plus the plastic uh, uh, clamps. And any questions? That's about it. I think that covers it. Scratch building. It is so much uh, uh, I have many plastic kits that I used to enter in competition. I've got a garage full of partially built models. Uh, and I'll go out there in the evening thinking, well, I'm going to finish one of those. Knock the socks off the guys at PMS. Bob brought in a plastic model. Um, but I'll sit down, turn the radio on. There are so many paper models. <laughs> it's addictive. And it's a lot of fun, and it really improves your uh, uh, modeling experience as, as you go along. I hope there's something you can utilize there. What was the name, brand name of the adhesive? Oh, <coughs> Omnistick. 